Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through system components. So system components of Windows 7, that is nothing but the basic architecture. So now in the previous tutorial, I have told you that the Linux architecture will be seems to be a bit easy for you, right? So this is the diagram for Windows 7 architecture, guys. Guys, at least you should remember the below part. The above part, you can just neglect according to your wish. But if possible, try to remember, guys, because this question is frequently asked. So I'll be saying you the important questions of this at the end of the chapter guys so that you can just refer them for your exams like mid exams or external semester exams fine. So we will be having three important parts. Those are nothing but HAL, kernel and executive. So those are the three main parts. If you ask me where they are, I'll be just marking them. So this is the first HAL and this is the kernel and this whole seven shape or L shape, whatever you may call it that will be your executive fine so these are the three parts guys please check the pdf guys or just go to google and type windows 7 architecture diagram so this will be the first result that you get fine or observe from that because it's not so clear i just took a printout so such that it fits on my book that's the reason why it is really small okay fine okay so we'll be discussing about one component after the other component here we'll be avoiding these components guys so basically these components are nothing but our folders so we will be having Windows 16 folder, Windows 32, MS-DOS, POSIX are, are the some uh, standard applications which will be in your OS and operating system, security subsystem and security accounting. All these are sub-layers guys, basic sub-layers. So we will be mostly concentrating in the middle layer and hardware is your RAM, ROM and all those things, input output devices and everything. So let us start with the center layer, we will be starting with HALT, HALT. So HAL, this is a layer of software so if you want the full form it is nothing but hardware abstract layer i think it's a bit clear but it's not so clear it's not so clear but i can understand that so hardware abstract layer so hal is nothing but hardware abstract layer so it is a layer of software software that hides the hardware different from upper layer of os to help make the windows portable so this is a medium in between these two something like that see it is taking input from the hardware and it is pushing it to the kernel so like it is an interactive between so that's what i have written here it is an interaction between the hardware and operating system so now i hope everyone got a small idea on this so now let us move to kernel so kernel kernel has a four important parts guys so the first part is thread scheduling interrupts exception handling and synchronization and recovery these are the four main operations that are done by our kernel so basically what is executive executive is a collection of sub layers guys is a set of sub layers yeah is a collection of sub layers so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so i'll be going according to my wish guys in this uh, topics because i return i shuffled the writings when i was writing i referred two to three books so all the topics were mixed up so uh, first let us start with object manager object manager is this fine so object manager the windows kernel model the windows kernel model object manager is a normal object manager okay sorry for that guys okay so basically now let us go through object manager the windows okay here is the object manager guys. i just marked a tick so the windows kernel model object manager manages the objects so from the name we can say it manages the objects. So your question will be what are the objects now? So the objects are nothing but the files, drivers, threads, synchronized mechanisms are represented as objects in kernel model. Fine. So each object has a header containing the information about the object as name, type, location. These are nothing but the signatures of a file you can say in that way also guys. Okay. So body containing data in the format described by each type of object so each type of object will be having all its own properties so we can create open close delete etc are few manipulations that can be done on a particular object so i hope now everyone got a small idea at least a few bits of idea on object manager so now let us go through io manager so this is io manager in io manager you are having file system cache device network fine so file system we have already we will be discussing in our next tutorials network drivers we will be discussing and these are all things which we will be discussing in future guys don't worry okay 
so i'll be giving you an introduction don't worry about that also so a computer contains consists of various devices that provide input and output to and from the outside so devices like keyboard mouse <coughs> sorry for that etc so device drivers provide the software connection between the device and the operating system so io devices are responsible for file system cache memory device drivers and network drivers so these are the few things that the io manager consists you can see it clearly here fine <coughs> sorry for that guys sorry so now let us come back to the main topic so the next thing that i'll be covering is virtual memory management so it is here virtual memory so virtual memory which manages virtual address spaces so virtual i hope everyone sorry for that i hope everyone knows about virtual memory which we have already discussed in second unit i think so yeah second unit so the concept of paging and segmentation comes in virtual memory so those are stored in the virtual memory guys those tables and data will be stored in the virtual memory so the next is process manager so process manager will be here fine so process manager it helps in creating deleting and using use of threads and processes so both can be created or deleted according to our own requirement fine okay i hope everyone got a small idea on it okay further continuing local procedure calls we are also having local procedure calls here the last block local procedure calls so it is a it passes the requests and results between the client and server so in between devices it is the main reason how we are transferring that is not that is the reason why we call it as inter process sorry local procedure calls fine so these will be a simple machine subsystem so in which we will be transferring them fine okay so after that we are having a security reference monitor it take it takes care about the security it checks the process whether it is violating or it is proper according to the security if it is violating it will be cancelling the chance for it right so the security measures will be taken here and object access controls and whatever legal permissions everything will be existing here so after that we are having i think that's it uh, after that we are having this last thing guys that is nothing but this plug and play manager this is really simple and easy plug and play we will plug it means we will connect it and we will have fun with it so plug and play is a combination of hardware and software that enables the pc to recognize which device is added to the system fine so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so in the next tutorial we will be going through the basic file system guys whereas cache man cache manager i think i didn't i didn't write any notes on it so cache manager is nothing but it stores the frequently used data fine and device drivers are nothing but uh, the particular each and every device will be having drivers i hope everyone knows that so those device drivers are stored even in the file system this concept i think i covered in file system and network drivers i took a separate topic on networking okay guys so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so in the next tutorial we'll be going through file system thank you thanks for watching